As we have been using subordinating conjunctions in our writing, we are going to be recapping how to use them and the different ways that you can use them in your sentences. A subordinating conjunction is used to join a subordinate clause to a main clause. They can be used in the middle of a sentence to join both clauses or to open a sentence so they are joining it to another sentence. Here I have a sentence, a very festive sentence, that contains a subordinate clause. I have written my sentence in two ways to show you how a subordinating conjunction can be used differently. My first sentence says, Santa crept towards the tree, as silent as a lamb. As you can see from the colours, Santa crept towards the tree is my main clause. That is the most important part of my sentence. It contains my subject and my verb. Silent as a lamb is a subordinate clause. It doesn't really make sense on its own and it needs to be linked to the main part of the sentence. To link my two clauses together, I have used a subordinate conjunction. I've chosen to use as. You can also see in my second sentence that I can restructure it. This time I've used as as my sentence starter, which means that my subordinate clause needs to be at the start. As silent as a lamb. Because I don't have a subordinate conjunction in the middle this time, I need something else to take its place to separate my clauses. So for this sentence, I have used a comma. A silent as a lamb, comma, Santa crept towards the tree. Here I have two sentences that are missing subordinating conjunctions. Have a think to yourself about which one you think fits well in these sentences. The elves had to finish making toys. Something Christmas Eve. Something it was Christmas. Santa tried not to eat too many mince pies. Which subordinate conjunction do you think would work? Here are the ones that I chose. The elves had to finish making toys before Christmas Eve. Even though it was Christmas, Santa tried not to eat too many mince pies. In maths this week, we have been recapping 2D shapes. I wonder if you can spot what all of these shapes have in common with each other. Hopefully you notice that they are all quadrilaterals, meaning that they all have four sides. Here I have a whole page of 2D polygons. I wonder if you can spot which ones are quadrilaterals, which ones have four sides. Here are all of the quadrilaterals on this page. We have a square, an oblong, a parallelogram and a rhombus. There are also other quadrilaterals. I wonder if you can think of any.